Jeff. You can call me Jeff. And welcome to Brain Surge. This is the only show where you just need a great memory and super concentration skills. Let's meet the stars of the show. I call them the Brainiacs. Sierra is afraid of squirrels. And let's be honest, there's a lot to be afraid of. Alex is the vice president of his student council. Kylie is an expert air guitar player. Talk to me after we just start a band. Madison Kate wants to be a wedding cake designer. Yummy. Sebastian is an ace hockey player. Bennett loves hip hop and his piano playing is off the hook. One of you is going to go home a champion today and you're going to have your chance at thousands of dollars in prizes plus the sliming of a lifetime. We're going to cover you from head to toe in it. You're going to be competing in three intense levels of brain game, and the first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. In front of you, you have a special game pod. That's where I want you to lock in your answers. You're going to earn points for every correct answer you get. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to level two. As far as the other two of you, well, there's only one way out of here, and it's down the brain drain. All right, is everyone ready? Good, because I'm ready. That means I'm going to head over to the Brain Center so we can get this thing started. Let's go. Level one. All right, guys, I'm back here, me and my ginormous head, and we are going to kick things off with a 10-point puzzle. Now, remember, pay attention to these instructions. I'm about to throw a baseball which has a number on it. You'll see the ball several times, so enter the number as soon as you can identify it. Everyone who thinks I got it right, put their eyeball to the camera. All right, Sebastian, not so sure. Let's find out what the correct answer is. Oh, the correct answer is six, eight, nine. Let's see who got it right. Sebastian didn't get his answer in in time, and that's why he didn't get 10 points. But don't worry about it, because this puzzle is worth 20 points. Here it comes. Filling in at the cafeteria. Count how many pieces I cut the sandwich into. How many pieces did I cut it into? Madison Kate, what's your favorite kind of sandwich? Cheese. Nothing but cheese. All right. Let's see what the correct answer is. Correct answer is eight. All right, let's see who got it right. Oh, Alex, Kylie, and Bennett, nice job. Give yourself 20 points. And this puzzle's worth 30 points. Here it comes. Take a look at these numbers. Every number from 11 through 20 is pictured here, except which number? Hey, Alex, how do you think you did? Zero. A zero, really. All right, let's find out what the correct answer is. 18 is the correct answer. Who got it right? All right, Madison Kate, Ben and Sebastian, good job. That one's worth 30 points. Add it to your score. Bennett hanging on to that lead with 60, and Sierra hanging down there with 10. But this puzzle is worth 40 points. Pay attention. We're at the state spelling bee. Pay attention to the spelling of this girl's word. Your word is logaria. Spell logaria. Logaria. L O G O R R H E A. Logaria. Correct. Which was the correct spelling of her word? All right, time's up. Bet you guys didn't know this, but uh, Bennett, he was a spelling wizard in the third grade. Isn't that right, Bennett? Oh, yeah, you know it. Let's see what the correct answer is in a replay. L-O-G-O-R-R-H-E-A. Answer was four. Who got it right? Oh, very nice, Sierra and Madison Kate. Sierra, by any chance, do you know what logaria means? No clue. It means giant peace earrings. 
No, it doesn't. It means diary of the mouth. It's a tight game, and this next puzzle's worth 50 points. Take a look. These kids are about to play a game of dodgeball. Keep track of which kid gets hit the most. Which kid got hit the most? Time's up. Okay, how do we do on that one, guys? Pretty good. Yeah. Good. Everyone's yeah. feeling pretty confident. Yeah. Did you guys know that I am the second best dodgeball player on my block? Wow. True wow. story. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, it was number one. I totally could have taken that kid. Let's see who got it right. Everybody got it right. That's 50 points all around. And it really doesn't change up the scoring all that much. After this, the four of you with the most points will advance to the next level, and the other two, well, you're going down the brain drain. And because I have a heart of gold, this puzzle's worth 100 points. Here it comes. Take a look at me right there on the bottom left. I'm on my way to my house. Keep track of which house I go into. did I go into? Time's up. You know, I love that neighborhood. It's a beautiful neighborhood, but it's very confusing to get around. Everything looks the same. <laughs> All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Yes. Number three, home sweet home. I see some jumping around yes. going on there. Well, let's see who got it right. <laughs> Sebastian, Sierra, and Alex got 100 points. Well played. All right, it's time to find out which four of you guys are moving on to level two and which of you two are going down the brain drain. With 200 points in first place is Sierra. Sebastian making a huge jump into second place with 180 points, tying Alex with 180 points as well. So you're moving on. Now, there are three players left in only one slot. In fourth place, with 130 points, is Madison Kate. Congratulations, you're moving on. And Bennett and Kylie, you guys are going to head down the brain drain. But before you do, we're going to send you home with this. Congratulations, you've won Nick Arcade gift certificate. Nick Arcade is where you can buy video games based on all your favorite Nickelodeon shows. All that and a bucket of slime. Well, there's only one way out of here. Bennett, Kylie, come on down. Here comes Kylie. Nice. She had a good time. When we come back, these four Brainiacs will put their massive minds to the test in level two. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Brain Surge, and I'd like to congratulate these four Brainiacs for making it to this level. Let's get to know them in a little segment I like to call Let's Get to Know Them. Sierra. I hear you love to shop and you consider shopping an exercise. Yeah, like the more stuff you buy, the bigger your biceps get. I'm sold. We'll work out later. <laughs> Sebastian, besides hockey, I understand you're into skateboarding. You collect them. How many do you have? Seven so far. Seven so far. What's your favorite skateboard? Four wheels and a yeah. deck? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I like that one, too. All right, Alex, I understand you had a little fishing accident recently. Well, yeah, when I went, it was a Boy Scout um, fishing trip, and I, when I went, I didn't know how to use the button yet, so when I swung it back, I grabbed uh, one of the other Boy Scouts' pants and ripped them. Got it. Okay. Remind me not to go fishing with you. Madison Kate, this is interesting. I hear you saved $250 to buy yourself a dog. What kind of dog did you get? I got a Shih Tzu, and her name is Tinkerbell, and I plan on taking her to college. Very nice. Do you want to say hi to Tinkerbell? Yes, hi, Tinkerbell. Okay. And, but say it in dog talk so she can understand. Woof, woof. <laughs> Very good. All right, enough of the chit-chat. Let's get to the game. Level two. On this level, I'm going to tell you a story from Jeff's big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. Stand up, guys. It's story time. 
Now, as you listen, you're going to want to pay close attention to the story I'm telling you, because afterwards I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Got it? Got it. Yeah, All right. Got it. want you guys to know that everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. <laughs> Last night, I paid $10 to see this really lame action movie. It was about a dentist slash adventurer who wore a felt hat and a leather jacket and for some reason a pair of boxers over his jeans. So they called him Undy Jones. Undy and his young sidekick Mutthead were in Egypt to find the mummy flatulent pharaoh King Tut. They were being chased by an army of ninjas who followed them across the desert on camels wearing roller skates. Eventually, Undy and Mutthead located King Tut's pyramid using a map they found in the book Mummies for Dummies. They entered the passageway filled with blood-sucking snails. Why does it always have to be snails? And acrobatic bats. A stone door opened, revealing Toot's treasure, including the pharaoh mummy's Shark of the Covenant, Cleopatra's crystal cell phone, you know, the kind with hieroglyphic text messaging. Suddenly, a ninja wielding a pair of nunchucks entered the tomb. Just then, King Toot's mummy let rip a 3,000-year-old fart so powerful that even the Sphinx could smell the stink. The fart made the pyramid collapse, but our heroes escaped just in the nick of time. That's my story, and it's all true. All right, Sierra, starting with you, I'm gonna ask you a question. We're gonna move right down the line. To lock in your answer, you sit down in your chair. If you hear this sound, you're right. If you hear this sound, Madison K, could you please demonstrate? You're going to want to hang on for the ride. And don't be embarrassed. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> All right. Sierra, are you ready? Yep. In what country did the story take place? Egypt. Sit down and find out. Good job. Sebastian. Yep. What was the name of the underpants-wearing adventurer? Undy Jones. Undy Jones. Correct. What type of warriors were chasing Undy? Ninjas. Yes. Ninjas. Very good. You don't want them on your tail. Undy found the mummy in what massive geometric structure? Um. Time's run out. Just take a guess. I don't know. You don't know? Let's find out. Oh! Hang on for the ride, Madison Kate. <laughs> She's on her way over to the brain drain. The correct answer was pyramid. Sierra, how much did I pay to see the movie? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks, ten dollars, ten bones, whatever it is. Whose cell phone did Undy find? Um, Cleopatra's. Very good. Alex, the text messages on Cleopatra's cell phone were written in what? Hieroglyphics. Very confident. What creatures in the story were described as blood-sucking? Snails. What were the camels wearing on their feet? Rollerblades. Rollerblades. I also have taken roller skates. Undy was searching for the mummy of what pharaoh? King Toot. Very good. What giant stone creature could smell King Toot's fart? The Sphinx. Very good. In what book did Undy find the map of King Toot's pyramid? Mummies for dummies. Oh, we are on a roll, Alex. The pressure's on. What was the name of Undy's sidekick? Muttwood. Muttwood. Oh, Alex, hang on. Oh, you gotta love it. The correct answer was Mutthead. Alex and Madison Kate are on their way to the brain drain. Sierra and Sebastian, you guys are gonna have a <laughs> knockout round. Knockout round. I hope you guys are paying close attention because I'm going to crank it up a notch here. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize the board. Soak it in, drink it in. Your time starts now. Time's up. Did you guys get a good look? Yeah. yeah. All right, Sierra, you're up first. What's your first number? Seven. Seven? Eight. And eight. Good job, Sebastian. Five. 
five. Three. And three. There it is. Pressure's on Sierra. Ten. Ten. Thirteen. Ninja wielding nunchucks. Sebastian, go ahead. Nine. Nine. Fifteen. More ninjas. Sierra. Sixteen. Sixteen. Two. And two. All right, Sebastian. Six. Six it is. Four. I'm going to give you four. How about? Oh, okay, Sebastian. With that miss, we have entered sudden death territory. The next correct answer moves on to the final round. Sierra, pick wisely. Eleven. Eleven. Six. And six. Sierra, you are the winner. Sebastian, sit and hold. Sierra, you're moving on to the final stage to play for thousands of dollars and prizes, plus a chance to get slime. Let's see what Sebastian, Alex, and Madison Kate won for making it this far. Congratulations! You've won tickets to Knott's Berry Farm! Knott's Berry Farm is America's first theme park with over 165 rides, unique shows, and attractions for the entire family. Knott's Berry Farm! Madison Kate, Alex, Sebastian, you guys know the rules. There's only one way out is down the brain drain. Madison Kate, come on down. Thanks for playing. Come back, we'll see if Sierra can find the path to victory in level three, the final stage. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Brain Surge. I am still Jeff. This is still Sierra, and she has cleared the first two levels. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty awesome. Right there, give it to me behind the back. Nice. Now you're about to face the final stage where you can win thousands of dollars in prizes plus the sliming. Level three, the final stage. All right, Sia, this level has three parts, each one more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern on the floor and then recreate it by stepping on the right squares. For example, if you step on the right square, it's gonna look like that. If you step on the wrong square, and you're gonna have to come back here and start all over. Once you complete the first path, you stop the clock by stepping on that button right up there. Then the floor will expand to a five by five grid where the second path will be revealed. Complete that path, the floor is gonna open up to the six by six floor. It's my favorite part of the show. If you complete the hardest path of them all, here's what you're gonna win. Complete the four by four and win a digital camera. Print and share your photos instantly with a 10 megapixel digital camera and the Polaroid Pogo Instant Mobile Printer. All from Polaroid. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a Diamondback bike. The new Diamondback Outlook and Lester One. These 21 speed sport recreational mountain bikes handle both trails and pavement from Diamondback. Complete the 6x6 six six and win a Circus Circus Getaway! Stay at the Circus Circus, located on the Las Vegas Strip, featuring dining, midway games, and circus acts. Plus, passes to the Adventure Dome theme park with 25 rides and attractions. All right, this is it. Um, I left 90 seconds around here. Have you seen it? Oh, I think it's right there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we'll put 90 seconds up on the board. There it goes. Pay attention. Here's your first light path. All right, you're gonna see it one more time. Okay, now the clock is gonna start when you make your first step. All right, Sierra? Yeah. Good luck. She's off, carefully jumping from step to step. Oh, oh, very nice, good recovery. Go there and stop the clock. Nice job. Oh, step on, stop it. Okay, good. Whew. Come on up, Sierra. Guess what? What? You're getting a camera. Awesome. And there's the five by five. Perhaps you forgot, but if you complete this path, you're getting a bike. Awesome. Check it out. Here it is. All right. It is a little more difficult. You're going to see it one more time. I have faith in you. I think you've got this. All right? Mm -hmm. Good luck. 
Off to that start again. A little more confident with her step. Oh, quick, come on back. All right, shake it off, shake it off. Here it is. All right, you got it. All right, you got it, you got it. 60 seconds left. Oh no, you missed one. Oh, now you see where you went wrong. She sees it, I can tell. She's got the look in her eye, the eye of the tiger. Oh no, here, come back. 45 seconds, here it is. You got it this time, you got it this time. Oh no, no, no. 35 seconds. You got this. I know it. Hey! Oh no! Oh no! Come back! Okay. You were so close on that last one. Oh no! Yeah, Ten seconds left. Don't mind him. He's just trying to intimidate you. Four, three, two, go! in the nick of time. Step right over here. You have a little over a second left. You just won yourself the bike. If you've ever been as fast as lightning, today is going to be the time to do it, okay? Here it is. You're more or less going to have one shot at this, and you're going to have to be lightning quick. Okay. Okay? The clock is going to start when you make your first step. All right, Sierra, good luck. But right now, you're gonna have to head down the brain drain. Why don't you go on over there, get it ready for me. That's all the time we got today. Tune in next time as six new Brainiacs are gonna go head to head to head to head to head to head on Brain Surge. Thanks for watching, maybe in New York. I'm coming over. Let's go, Sierra, come on down. Kevin James is getting ready to host the Kids' Choice Awards. Let's do this! But you get to decide who wins them. Who will bring home the blimp for favorite movie actor? Zac Efron, Taylor Lautner, Shia LaBeouf, or Tyler Perry? Favorite female singer? Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, Lady Gaga, or Taylor Swift? You decide. Go to nick.com slash KCA on your computer or cell phone and... Vote, baby! Then be here to see who wins big at Kids' Choice 2010. Saturday, March 27th at 8 on Nick. Mm-hmm.